Gonna get crunk. Hey guys, it's New Year's Eve. They've been shooting fireworks all day. One of our dogs, Nala, the tan one, she's deathly afraid of fireworks. Really? We need to take her out one last time so she can make it through the night without peeing in the house or something. And it's probably gonna be terrible. Every time we take her outside during New Year's Eve firework type stuff, she freaks out. So let's get this over with. Gotta go pee. Oh, oh, we gotta go pee. Let's go pee. Oh, look at you. Look at you enjoying yourself. Ketchup is a spicy. Do you like that? Do you like that? Do you like that? We gave her a Benadryl earlier today. It's about time that she can have another one. Well, Vito, you gotta scrape it. Oh, that was easy. Tank doesn't need Benadryl or anything like that, so just give him a beef tallow. All right. We'll see if she falls asleep. I'm kind of expecting her to pass out at some point. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Got to formally introduce the pups they're not really pups they're nine years old but uh this is nala and this is tank they're brother and sister they're brother and sister same litter and this is how we got them we were in college and i don't know why I decided to get dogs and so uh well, it's my brother wanted to get he went to rescue this dog that was half pitbull half basenji so then I was gonna keep it for him because he couldn't have the dog in my mom's house. She didn't want a half pit bull. And I had an apartment. It's my senior year in college. And I started researching Basenji. I was like, oh man, I gotta get a Basenji. And we ended up not getting a half pit bull, half Basenji because that was gonna end up being my dog. And it, we had requirements like the dog had to be under 30 pounds. Also, so I couldn't get the dog anyway. But then I fell in love with Basenjis. Yeah, and then I tried to persuade him that I was gonna surprise him with a dog because we were living separately at the time. We were in college just dating. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna get you a dog. I'm gonna surprise you a dog. I don't want you. I really didn't well, want that's him. That's not how it happened. Someone told me that you were gonna surprise me with some little white fluffy dog. No, they didn't. Uh -huh. No one literally, no one they didn't. I told you that. And you got mad because I said that I made that up because I didn't want you to get a dog. We had a huge argument. Uh, all I remember I was the dog's gonna be little, white, and fluffy. No, it wasn't. That's what you came up with. You said you thought Someone it was gonna be little, white. Someone told me this. White. No. I think you told one of my brothers you no, surprised me I with a dog. No, I wasn't, because I never even thought about it. I made it up on the spot because I didn't want you to get a dog. So you were lying. And no, yeah, I was lying about it. I was going to get you a dog. See, but that's what happened when you lied. I was lying about it. I was going to get you a dog because that was the only thing that I figured would convince him not to get a dog is that we could get one together later. But he was like dead set, I'm getting a dog no matter what. I was looking on Craigslist and found a guy in Kansas that had a Basenji and he bred his Basenji with somebody else's Basenji twice. So we picked him out on pictures. He saw her and said something about Nala. Like you picked Nala. You no, found I picked Tank. You picked Tank, but you said something like Nala would be the perfect name for that one. I fell in love. I picked the but name. Then, yeah, then you said something about, you were like, but I want him. Like you thought yeah, he looked he, buff and whatever. He looked bad. And I wanted to name him Bane. And I was like, I think it's a horrible idea. Why would you name a dog Bane, like super villain? Let me just name you a super villain before you're even- He looked like one. Yeah. And I was like, like okay, that fits me. Cause I, I was always like the super villain of my family, like the black sheep. I wanted a dog that matched. I instantly was like, oh my gosh, we have to have her. But then he wanted to get him. So, and then- I mean, I always wanted to get two of them. So yeah, not a big deal. Two dogs. And then it just so happened the breeder was like, well, I really am only willing to let her go with him. Cause they were best friends since birth. they were best friends birth. or something. She was like the runt, I guess. She had a hernia on her stomach when we got her. But, and then he was like this very chill, very, very chill, like bad and chill. <laughs> Have you ever seen a chill bad? Chill. Yeah, he's chill. not like, he's not a bad dog, but he, he's just mischievous. He's, yeah, he's very mischievous. Like, and he knows people who don't like dogs and he likes to mess with them. Yeah. Like one of my brothers didn't like dogs, he would always run and bite his pants leg. Like he was wearing jeans, never broke the skin. He would bite the pants leg and run. He always yeah. does stuff like that. Um, He took a dump on my mom's bed. <laughs> 
But like my mom, she likes dogs, but she's not like Google go dog. She's not like super dog person. Mm -hmm. And so anyone who's not a super dog person, he will always mess with them. Yeah. Or like when one time we were he in still socks. Yeah, he still socks. And hides them. He'll hide them. Yeah. Like he, when he used to work, I was like stay at home wife mom. Cause we got married when I was still living in my mom's house because this is the honest to god reason my mom would not let her spend the night you know my mom's really really religious she's like oh she can't spend the night because you guys are not married even when we were in college but in college we lived us, together we lived together and she didn't she would come visit and didn't want us to like stay together in yeah college, so, so we lived together in college but yeah she couldn't spend the night in my mom's house so i was like okay we need to get married so you can spend the night that's why we got married <laughs> so we got married and then you moved in yeah i was 21 he would wait until I wasn't around and he would poop somewhere. And so he could Sometimes come and find it. Sometimes he would it. take him out. Sometimes, yeah. He would come back in and poop in the house. Like yeah. He was just bad and I guess unhappy. He was mad because he, he liked you being at home. And like in college, he was there pretty a lot. much there a lot. leave for a couple hours at yeah, a time. Yeah, in his puppy years. And so I guess he was resentful. But he knows how to hold a grudge. As soon as I quit my job in corporate America, he stopped pooping in the house yeah. instantly. But that was... Instantly. He pooped in the house for like two years. Two years. Yeah. But anyway, so their personalities are totally opposite, just like us. But New Year's always sucks. It's the worst day of the year for us. And Fourth of July. I don't know which one sucks. New Year's is worse. They shoot way more fireworks on New Year's than Fourth of July. Yeah, and yeah, um, it doesn't even matter whether in the trailer park or in a regular house or whatever. But I guess it does depend on where we live. In but here, New Year's they shoot way more fireworks yeah. than Fourth of July. They shoot them on both, but New Year's, they go crazy. Here is strange because it's kind of lawless. Like, uh, they pretty much shoot them any and everywhere. So, like, because... Yeah, they shoot them all year, but... Yeah. Sporadically. And they shoot them right in front of the house. Like, they shoot them, like, you know, trailers are kind of small and kind of close together. And kind of thin. Kind of thin walls. <laughs> and they'll just, like, boom. Like, you know, the other day we walked and there was just these kids shooting them on the basketball court. Just, like, shooting them casually. So, anyway... Uh, she gets firework anxiety so bad. And her heart's pounding. It should be like shit. Like Varunga. Panting. Like if you guys know that movie Varunga with the monkeys and stuff, or the gorillas, it was like they couldn't control the terror that these apes would go through. And so she's like that. Mm -mm. But right now she's actually more chill than she usually is because she's had two Benadryls today. Mm. What? But she's trying to freak she's out. She's trying to freak out. She does decent when you hold yeah. her, but then sometimes that doesn't work and then she'll start freaking out, really wants to break free. And so you just gotta let her go. And right now she's yeah. shivering like crazy. I don't know if you can see it. Probably she has an anxiety jacket on. She also, like, whenever she spazzes and freaks out, she likes to chew everything that's in her way. Yeah, she chews cords. And she's shedding right now. But Cindy's are not supposed to shed. Yeah, I think they're mixed. So, I mean, this is the worst timing for shedding. She's gonna need, like, a million rubs tonight and hair's like, already all over her face. All over. It's gonna be everywhere. And it might be time for her to get up. You wanna get up, Nala? Look at all this hair. That is so much hair. Where are you going? Where are you going? She's doing her lap. When she gets scared, she likes to crawl under the futon, but then when a firework goes off under the futon, she thinks she's not safe under the futon either, and she comes right back up. New Year's, but it's midnight. We forgot to record. Meant to record, but it actually went pretty well. I guess the Benadryl, off brand Benadryl, where we at, it worked pretty well. You see, now she's calmer than she was earlier. Look at all that hair on her shirt. Oh my gosh. Woo! Happy New Year. We made it to another year and Nala survived. She did. That's the family is still together. 30 more minutes left and we'll probably get it. Maybe an hour. Yeah. You know what, you're, you know what happens at midnight? Your starts. <laughs> We're not doing it. <laughs> this jacket must really work because last year we used the same Benadryl bottle and everything and it was way worse. The only yeah. difference this year is this new jacket that Meg Geddes sent us. It's nice. It's, she's like a little sausage packed all tight in here. Yeah, this year was better overall. The it whole was. Time. It was amazing. Like she was freaking amazing. out earlier a little bit, you know, running under the futon and all that, but. I don't know, now she's not doing that bad at all. She's sitting right here, not even shivering. Not even shivering, yeah. And this is midnight, like full blown. Pum, 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 pum. So the combo of Benadryl and this jacket, I guess. That's the that secret it. sauce. Happy New Year. I feel like, I feel like it's a whole new life. Right. <laughs> I low-key so stress about New Year's and 4th of July every year. Every year. 
Yeah. Because sometimes she freaks out so bad. So bad. She'd be like, tuk, 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 tuk. like she'd be like, I think she's might gonna like she might die. Do you have any New Year's resolutions yeah, or goals? Goals. Or any, I don't really make resolutions. I usually make goals. Can I say it out loud? Oh. Or do I have to like wish it in my head um, like a birthday? Wish? I'm not with all that superstitious stuff. I tell everybody mine whenever. Okay. Okay. Actually, I don't really have many friends to tell to. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you would. You I would, would if I theory. did. Yeah. Okay. You got yours? It's just goals. It's not like. Okay. What well, is there okay, to keep okay. secret? Okay. Okay. I got my goal. Okay. What you got? I want to get out the trailer park. I want to get a house. Okay. I want to get a house and I want to have a kid. In within a year. Yeah. Oh. Well, no, no, no. Like just start having the kid. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, pr like prepare it. Not you know get the get the nine months going with this Bake within this cake. year. Yeah, I want to start cake. baking the cake okay. within 2022. Okay. Are you ready to bake a cake? <laughs> I'm so ready. Oh, I love baking. Oh, those are my New Year's goals. Happy New Year. <laughs> Let us know your goals down below. <laughs>